Yo, 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 what is up, my peeps? It is Deej here, and that's right, we got some Minecraft. <laughs> some of you subs are going to be like, what is going on here? I apologize for that, but I don't really because it's my channel and I do not want. <laughs> <clears throat> One thing I got to say right away is I have been gone. I really do apologize for that. Uh, One thing I'm trying to been doing lately, IRL, in real life, is uh, start a business, start a bakery. I can't even make bread out of the wheat here in Minecraft, but damn, I can make some fine cheesecakes in real life. Uh, some of you may have seen the uh, chocolate ball recipe uh, video that I just recently put out, and you're wondering what the hell is going on here. This is a gaming channel. Well, uh, it's something I'd want to make for a long time after seeing uh, you know, videos of people's online, and that literally was the very first one I ever made, and I think I did damn good. <laughs> Pat and I want to back... But, uh, yeah, so anyway, I've been really, really busy with that stuff uh, and slacking on videos. I mean, there, it's a combination of both. Do not get me wrong. I am procrastinating making videos, but it's because of a motivation factor, a game factor. Um, and so one thing I thought, you know, like while I'm busy doing that, I can easily just throw together some clips of Minecraft and I got the itch. So what a perfect combination. So let's get kind of right into it. Uh, we, we have some, a few people here. There's Dobbs is there right now. Uh, we'll have Max Javius at times, Little Lake, Big Red, you know, the normals for anyone that has seen, uh, my Minecraft before. Uh, but so yeah, we're, we're a day in, there's someone over there. There's someone out there somewhere, uh, but literally we don't have much. This is my little hovel, my little hole in the ground. Uh, I mean, wow, I have some wheat, I have some roses, some peonies, and I have an enchanting station, but that that's about it. My mine, and I haven't even, I'm just now starting the... The storage room, and I don't even—I don't even have anything in it. So yeah, uh, what I plan on doing maybe is, you know, branching off in a like a four-way system here, modular. Uh, but uh, that—that's a little later. Uh, point being, I have just started. Um, uh, one thing, I, a goal I want with this—I don't know if this is a series because in uh, uh, this new world, let's call it. One thing I want to focus on is uh, more intricate and more, more, um, more cool building design not this is not this is not an example of that let's repeat that this is literally just when when we first got here there's a really fast night cycle as you can see it's already coming down pretty quickly uh, from when I I, um, I waited till day to start this and then gave myself a minute did my me 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 me's and we're already here but point is the dark uh, happens pretty quick so all I did is burrow into the ground and generally uh, I just kind of go from where I started, and I had this little tiny hovel here, and I just started expanding. Um, this is kind of a... I did catch some flack last night uh, from Max Javius that this was very reminiscent of the old Ethos Man Cave. Um, I'll admit that this probably is subconsciously inspired, but I do... I, point is, I like the look. Uh, the, uh, the underground thing has nothing to do with him. Uh, because uh, to me, uh, while I will be making buildings on the outside and making them look cool, I personally like building a lot underground because you can do whatever you want. You don't have to, like, say I build a house, a big house, and I want to put another room on it. That means I have to actually reconstruct part of the house to, you know, have that new addition onto it. And while that might be kind of entertaining, I probably will be doing that to an extent on the outside. I think for my main living quarters, I like this style because I also do piston doors and all that kind of stuff. And it's easy to hide. Uh, you know, there'll be electrical stuff and that'll be easy to hide. And in a house on the outside, that's, that's really not that easy. Uh, but I think what he meant by the ethos man cave is I am going with grass at times inside here I, I personally just like the look um you know there'll be other places where there'll be things that aren't grass and gravel and whatnot uh, so while unintentionally uh, I, I would uh, I, I will state unintentionally but I will admit uh, a slight amount of inspiration to ethos I guess uh, I don't know I mean did he I, I mean I'm going with rock and stuff too I think the only thing he's saying is I went with stairs and grass but I don't care. I like the look. I like it. I like it. I like the kind of like the, the strolling sound you get sometimes too. Um, one thing I've noticed, because it's been a couple months since I played Minecraft, I'm digging on some of the new sounds. Like, I don't know if I, like, here, this one out here. Tell me if I'm right or wrong about this. I know the, the planks there make that squeak, but listen to this. Like, hold on. Let me crank this up. 
there's little creeks. Were those always there? It's the little things. It's just the little things. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. And, oh, yeah, and the grass pathway. I, I kind of dig this, although I, I wish it wasn't as brown. Like, I wish it was, like, green, just, like, more paler green. This seems a little dirt pathy, and I don't really want dirt path. Um, some of you are familiar with my old Minecraft content. I'm a big fan of uh, pure BD craft, Sfax. Let's turn it on. Just oh, uh, Let's sleep. I'm going to tell Dobbs to sleep. Sleep, Dobbs. Sleep. Sleep. Let's see if we can get a sleep in real quick. That way I don't get attacked. Nice. He just left the game. <laughs> what was I saying though? Um, oh, pure BD craft. I'm a big giant fan of Sfax pure BD. So let's take a look. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you viewers. Um, again, this might not be able to be answered right away as some of you may not be Minecrafters. But this is vanilla and this is what a lot of, of uh, video makers use. Just I, My assumption is to not confuse people that are watching because I, I would assume that a lot of people that play Minecraft. Um, while I like vanilla, I like uh, I like Sfax a little bit more. I need to get rid of all these old crappy um, resource packs. But uh, yeah, I updated recently to this, and I've I'm just still a giant fan of 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 uh, Sfax. Uh, but like, look at the like it gives. It's just it's more high def. Um, this is kind of odd as far as the beaten path goes. I uh, I have mixed decisions on this, mixed feelings. But everything else is so much more smooth, kind of comic booky, uh, vectory maybe. Uh, but like, look at the depth. The door has depth. The uh, well, I don't have a ladder here, but just whoa, whoa. Oh, it's on the outside. Uh, everything just looks a little bit smoother, more crisp, more high def. Uh, my question, I guess, to you viewers is, um, I I would probably prefer to leave it like this generally because I do this when I play um, but like I said some people watching may get confused like like this they're like well what kind of block is that well it's just the beaten path it's just what the resource pack uh, makes it look like so um, that's what I'm asking is in the comments below leave a leave a comment if you're concerned or if not or if you don't I, I don't know if you don't care don't say anything but leave a comment letting me know if uh, you want to see me present these in vanilla or if you're okay with this because um, even if there was a confusing block and someone asked in a comment I would do my best to answer but if it overall is an issue and people aren't ha you know um, if it's confusing, like as far as what blocks or what, I would, I would, I would be fine with running vanilla because I, I actually like vanilla to an extent. It's just, you know, this looks cooler. That's, that's it. Uh, anyway, what am I gonna plan for this episode besides rambling on you guys and introducing this whole new menagerie? <laughs> this ain't even a menagerie. There's, well, I don't know. There's some animals over there. Oh yeah, let's go look at the animal. Well, I, I got an auto smelter. You know, that's a necessity for everyone. I have my own. Uh, indoors down down in my mind but I also have that one for anyone that wants to use it because what we're going to try to do is form a, a like community townscape here and albeit there isn't anything here yet this is only day one uh, I think we I yeah I started the server yesterday and we we did a we did a night without recording just to you know I mean whoa we got wheat watch out world domination here but uh yeah let's get some steaks in me gotta have my meats all we have right now is some cows and some sheps uh, not e we don't even have any chickens or pigs or corralled yet. Um, uh, personally, I don't know if we are going to corral pigs. I mean, I know I'm going to want one to ride. <laughs> but uh, chickens are kind of annoying, but they are fun to chicken bomb people. So there will probably be a chicken farm somewhere at some time that will be like underground or something so we don't have to hear the damn thing. Um, here, here's a question. I'm running on... Uh, the server on Beast Node. Um, I've never, I'm so far, I'm happy with them. Never had any experience with them. Did a little bit of reviews, and they're the ones that had. Uh, um, I found positive feedback and no negative feedback on them, so I went with them. Uh, what do you guys think? Any good, bad um, uh, history with them? Uh, let me know if you know. Anyway, uh, one thing I do have planned in. I don't know if it's going to be this episode because I literally don't know how much I've already just rambled on to you. But I want to kind of overhaul this whole thing. Like basically 
probably strip the whole damn thing down. I want to make it more Hobbit holy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause since I am going to be like, uh, uh, what do you call that? Underground dwelling. That's the the, the word slip in my subterranean. Since I'm going to be doing that, uh, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking Hobbit hole, and being that I'm pretty damn short, there's something about Minecraft. I feel so short in Minecraft. It's like, you know, I I go and play H one Z one or Arma or Call of Duty or anything shooter person. It's like you're kind of up here and you're running and you're tall, but here in Minecraft you're this little tiny wee short guy with little shoulders and little fist bump arms. <laughs> That's another cool thing. The 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 freaking uh, offhand. I haven't even made a shield yet, but man, fist pumping and, and with, with 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 light. <laughs> anyway, uh, I better do something before I just bore the hell out of everybody. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm gonna tear this down. Hobbit holy. Um, I'm also going to take this and make this modular like I say in a minute ago uh, this is gonna be like the center so there'll be this branch there'll be a branch that way there'll be a branch that way and there'll be another equal branch they will all be equal branches that way and so if to, at first that's gonna be plenty over time I'm gonna need more storage so what I could do is just branch off these corridors one way or another I think because I'm pretty sure that'll yeah it overlaps the the mine tunnel uh, this is just a mine going down so I can strip mine uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So my two first projects that I think will be is finishing this off and finishing the front door off, or uh, the the entrance. Um, and just kind of continue this theme, you know, I, uh, like a, I still got to, you know, uh, make this look better without just the stone. Um, just now, just now last night, I figured it's about time to start uh, recording because we just now started enchanting last night. We're just now getting diamonds and just now enchanting. We're literally, I think I'm the only one that's hit level 30. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so let me dig out this area and we'll, uh, we'll uh, get this going a bit. I think I've done enough rambling for now. A nice, solid... I don't know if that was 10 or 15 minutes of rambling, but uh, yeah, I'm going to dig this out so we can continue this on. I think I'm going to finish this and then move on to the Hobbit, the Hobbit Holy. Uh, yeah, cause storage is pretty much number one. Once you get diamonds and you have, you know, like, we're all encountering this crap, <laughs> this, this, this nonsense. <laughs> so we need to bring a little bit of order to my life and uh, finish out this place. So uh, yeah, so what is this? This is uh, 12. We're gonna have 12, oh, that's actually pretty good. That's a dozen chests per corridor. So there's gonna be 12, 24, 48. 48 chests to begin with. Let's do this. All right, peeps, here we go. Uh, oh, yep, by the way, I got me a jukebox. I was out fighting creepers and skeletons and I uh, I remembered that's how you get those. So I juked and juked and juked until the until the I uh, got me a white CD. <laughs> I thought it was my favorite, but I think uh, black's my favorite, if I remember right. I don't know. It's been quite a while. Uh, is there any new ones? Uh, if anyone knows that in the comments below, let me know if there's any new CDs. Are they bringing, have they, like, added any with any of the updates? It's been about a year since I played. and or Well, not since I, I, I mean, I messed around, but since I did something serious. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, peeps. Oh, perfect ending. Oh, no, it's not in. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I dug out the next one. So here's the original, and I kind of designed the roof and uh, put in some um, some redstone lamps. I had to go to the, the nether. We've got the worst nether spawn ever, but good old Max Javius knows how to get around and found us even a, a four-way, a double four-way wither skeleton um, area. And that was just random digging through nether because we originally got, I'll show you guys eventually, but we the, our first nether portal was at like a bottom pocket next to the bedrock and the under lava. It was like the worst. Anyway, long story short, uh, or uh, for another time. So yeah, like I said, I gussied this up. This looks pretty good. I like the way it looks. It's um, very, uh, you know... Uh, Blocky, yeah, uh, but you know, I got some lighting going on. Uh, originally, I like I said uh, a few minutes ago, uh, quite a couple hours ago though, <laughs> for for me from you, blah blah blah. Wow, I need to get back into this whole commentary thing. Um, like I said, I was going to do a a 
like a, a, a four-way here uh, and have chests in both sides. But I ran into an issue. Uh, I couldn't have them symmetrical, being that like if I come around here, I can't like go right into the wall to have chests like this is inlaid and goes up. I couldn't do that here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is um, this is definitely enough storage for now. And as I keep going, I'll just make more hallways exactly like this that way, um, assuming the the the, the the ground allows me to but what I will do with these instead is I will probably <clears throat> maybe move this room to one side and then uh, like a a makeshift spot for my anvil make it like a little blacksmith area, which would mostly mostly be the anvil maybe some lava accents and um, uh, m just for looks probably a a smelter and stuff like that uh, but you know what I'm saying like the stuff in between uh, these places, uh, you know, that's good for storage. You'll, you know, you need your enchanting, you need your fixing and, and, and whatnot. Uh, we're going to go sleep real quick so Dobbs uh, can get the mobs off him. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's a much better idea. Uh, that way um, I, can, I can have certain items in certain corridors here. And like I said, since I can't put them inlaid just like these were here, I'm going to make little um, stations for different, um, you know, enchanting, blacksmithing, uh, maybe a, a, a potion one next to some, um, like, uh, potion supplies down the way, like at the next room if we go on further. Uh, but for now, yeah, this is this is the way I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go. It's, it's definitely still modular, and there's still 12, a dozen uh, chests in each little, little module, and I think that's going to be plenty for now. Um, I'm not going to go super anal and only have sand in here uh, and, and only have cobblestone in here. What I'm going to do is have specific kinds of things in certain areas, you know, and then there's going to be a wood box, there's going to be a stone box, there's going to be a ground box, stuff like that. Um, as, as the server goes, I might need to go more intricate, but for now, this is, this is plenty. Uh, but yeah, so I uh, just want to give you a little update. I'll show you how I have this all designed. Let's take a quick look in, uh, in, uh, without, uh, just Manila. Uh, I, I still like it. I still like it, but again, it's not as crisp and clear, but it's, it still looks pretty good and intricate. And this is definitely, while not super special of design, it's, it's definitely better than what I generally standard did. Like, I, I mean, this is definitely still square. But I was the type of guy that would make a square house. It wouldn't even be rectangle. It would be 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five or whatever. Uh, breaking out of that box, if you would. <laughs> and uh, going to start just doing a little more intricate stuff. Quick shout out to an old school buddy of ours that we used to... Uh, to Minecraft with uh, Seth Nazo, it's it's sort of not just him, but uh, as a personal thing, we gamed with him, and he was a good inspiration as far as good design went. If you're out there, buddy, and you're listening, watching, shout out to you, bud. Uh, he was uh, he was really good at designs. Like I'm I'm a guy that likes to do function. I like to make automated farms. And all that goofy stuff, make electric things. I was just never good at crafting, or uh, uh, aesthetic, aesthetic crafting. Let's call it that. So that's one thing I want to do with this, and I, I'm I'm pretty pleased with this. And so far, the grass is looking good. Um, I will probably, you know, randomize it up a bit. Maybe throw in some. Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe I won't throw in anything. Maybe I'll just make some beaten path in here. I I, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this, this type of modular system. And uh, uh, I'm so I do have a, I got I'm gonna do uh, enchanting if I move it, which I, I think I'm going to because it just makes more sense to be right over here. Uh, it might be at this side. I'm thinking enchanting, blacksmith, and like I said, a potion station. I don't know what a fourth one would be yet if I, cause uh, if I open that one up. There'll be one here too. So, uh, any suggestions on another station that I could put in here that would be necessary? Maybe an auto, uh, uh, an AFK fish farm. I would have to make a sun shaft, but maybe an automatic fish farm. Uh, any other suggestions? Let me know. Uh, I'm going to continue this out, knock this out, and we'll be back. Okay, here we go. I uh, Yes, I ended up moving the enchanting table, and I took it down here, and instead of also doing, like I said, I changed my mind again. 
I did not put, uh, I did not separate them. I put enchanting here. I put this here, um, the uh, anvil for repairing things. Got a little, gave it a little of a, I don't know, somewhat of a blacksmithing accent. Um, pretty sure that this wood's far enough away from the lava to where it won't catch fire. There was something I was testing. I even had them right next to it and it wasn't doing it. So I'm not sure if they change it, but if I remember correctly, um, lava could jump like three blocks to wood to burn it at any time. I'm not sure if I'm wrong in remembering that, if they've changed it, or if I'm going to come back and this is going to be burnt down. <laughs> uh, but I hope not. Anyway, this is what I did. Change up my enchanting table a little bit. I did end up losing all my levels because there was an Enderman in here, and um, I just went I went gung ho at him instead of thinking about my levels, and he he got me. I ended up killing him, but oh well. Anyway, so yeah, I uh, got our anvil here. Nice little ching giddy ching ching. Uh, we got um, we got our enchanting here, and so yeah, these are going to be corridors for I don't know something else like. Uh, even going on from there, but uh, who knows? I don't know yet. Again, like I said before, I'll need a AFK fish farm. I'll need... Hmm, I might even just make an aesthetical library for, for coolness. Uh, who knows? I don't know yet. And then on from there, like say if I need more storage chambers, I'll probably just go on modular like I was saying before on from there rather than splitting off the sides. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's I'm I'm done with this for now. Uh, one cool thing is Dangly Biscuits. <laughs> still laughing at that name. Uh, found a skeleton spawner over I don't know a ways away. So that's actually what I'm going to focus on tonight uh, and tomorrow, if uh, depending on how long I work tonight uh, on this. But uh, yeah, skeleton spawner, XP farm, and bone meal coming up soon. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'll be getting back into Minecraft a little bit. I hope you guys do look forward to this. I hope uh, even some of you that may not enjoy Minecraft might might like this because uh, Minecraft is is a good game uh, all around. So it is something <clears throat> that uh, you could be interested in if you uh, haven't before. Uh, anyway, maybe what else I'm going to do tonight is move my bedroom in here. I was wondering what I would do with this room, but this looks like a good little... Uh, cubby for my bed and my jukebox and maybe some some armor um, weren't yeah there's like uh, um, what do you call them uh, thingies oh maybe that was in modded I'm not sure where you could put uh, your armor on a stand you know and just show it off uh, I think that was modded now that I think about it but anyway I'm gonna convert this probably into my bedroom still got the the lighting and everything looks like a nice little little bedroom uh, but yeah, anyway, peeps, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will be back to next time with, like, I, I'm pretty sure the Skeleton Spawner. 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 Because <laughs> uh, that's what I plan on working on tonight. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying, and I hope you stick around. Anyway, thanks for gaming, peeps, and stay watch. S thanks for watching, peeps, and stay gaming. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I always, always mess that up. Anyway. Later, peeps. Yeah.